Hey guys, this is Steli Efti with Closeout. What do you do when a sales call goes from good to bad? You know, when you're on a call with a prospect, it's the third call, you've supported them through the trial, you've given them the demos, you've answered all their questions. You're certain today is going to be the day you seal the deal. And the conversation starts off nicely and then it takes the turn for the worse. You know, they come up with all these concerns you've never heard about. They come up with all these reasons why they're hesitating to make a decision you've never heard about. And there's this growing inner feeling of, holy shit, this is not going to happen today. Here's how most salespeople respond to that. One group, or at certain times, you'll respond by just being defeated. You know, just your body language even will just sink down and you'll just think, oh shit, this deal is not going to happen, this sucks. And you're going to be defeated and you're just gonna, your energy is going to drop significantly. You're going to still answer all their questions, but you kind of have given up on the deal at that moment. The other way to respond, or other people like to respond, in the exact opposite way. When they hear that, they get angry. They, they get outraged and they start to push the prospect. They try to force the deal to happen. They're like, I had it. I have enough. I don't want to answer any more questions. I'm going to force this person to buy right now. And they start selling, but selling with a certain level of aggression and push. And what happens naturally in those situations is when you push, the natural laws of the universe you know, suggest that you'll get a counter reaction that's usually opposed to your, your force, which means they're going to push back. And all of a sudden, you're strangled in this dynamic of actually convincing them more and more that the reasons why they're not sure about the deal are bigger reasons than they even thought before you started pushing. Obviously, the way that I described these two reactions, both of those approaches are stupid, and I'm not going to get you any results. And it also, beyond just being stupid and ineffective, they will feel bad. It's just, it's going to feel sh shitty for you and your inner household. So, what do you do instead? Easy. When you get surprised negatively by a prospect not being ready to buy, although you thought that would be the call of the meeting where the deal would be done, you have to take a moment, take a deep breath, realize, okay, the circumstances have changed, and here's the kicker. The next thing you do is you ask for help. Just ask for help. Just go, step back and go, listen, uh, John, let's step back for a second. I want to be frank with you. I'm totally surprised that you guys are not ready to buy today. You know, I expected with everything we discussed prior, prior that today would be the day we would start our relationship, deepen the relationship, become real partners, you guys becoming customer of ours, and me being able to, to manage you and serve you and help you succeed. So I'm a little disappointed and I'm very surprised. What did I do wrong? What did I miss out on? What did I miss? Uh, because being surprised by these issues that you brought up suggest that I, that I didn't ask the right questions, I didn't service you well, I didn't serve you well, I, didn't, I wasn't paying attention enough. Tell me, where did I miss, mess up and what did I miss out? What did I miss? It's a very, very powerful question. And you realize from a you know, human interaction point of view, instead of pushing, now you're pulling. And it's very disarming as well because you're not telling them, well, yo, blah, 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 we can't do this, and this is not an issue, you should still buy, and blah, 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 and come on. Instead of that, you tell them, you know what? Dude, I'm surprised. Where did I mess up? I thought today would be the day we're ready to go. What did I do wrong? Here's what happens most of the times. People, instead of getting their guard up, the guard will fall down, and they will try to actually you know, tell you that it's not your fault, right? They're going to go, well, no, 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 it's not you, it's us. You did a great job. You did everything right. It's just that this, this issue is still a problem for us. Don't let them get away with it. You know, when they tell you that, you tell them, no, I don't accept that. You know, I, I, I realize that these are needs that you have, but it's my job to answer all your questions, fulfill all your needs, and get you to a point where you know if you want to buy and you're able to actually with certainty make a decision. And by this time, I should have done my job 
so well that you would be able to make a decision to buy today or not. So don't, don't take this away from me. This is my responsibility. So it means I messed up. I'm taking full responsibility for it. And I'm not letting you get away with trying to suggest that this was your fault in any way. See what I'm doing here? Don't let them feel bad about you. Don't let them apologize. Own it and take responsibility of it. But at the same time, in the dynamic between the two, ask for help. And here's what's going to happen next. They're going to tell you why they are where they are. And in most cases, they'll bring up the real reason or they'll highlight the biggest reason out of everything they maybe have mentioned to you. And they'll give you much more information than they usually would about the context of these uncertainties. And then you have a, a opportunity to address those and close the deal. You'll tell them, listen, you know, we've been exploring this for the last two weeks, two months, whatever it is, six months, whatever your timeline is in the sales process. I'm not going to let another day go by without empowering you to make a decision. Let's be decisive together today. Are you sure that what you told me is everything? Because I think we can address that, solve that, answer that, and make a decision right now together. Be decisive together and get this thing done. So once you've, you know, once you ask them where did you mess up, what did you do wrong, and you allow them to elaborate what happened in the past that you missed out on and why they are where they are and what truly is the motivation behind them not feeling ready to buy. Then you address that point and you then, after you pull, you'll push. And you'll see that in the majority of the times, they're going to give you the real gems, the real reason in that kind of disarming interaction that you have with them. And with that information, you're going to be able to close them. So next time somebody tells you, somebody that was super hyped, somebody that got all the help, all the information you needed, and somebody you were certain you would close today, if they turn their conversation around and you realize, you have that moment of realization, shit, this deal is not going to happen today, take a deep breath and then ask for help.